last week in my video on the attack of legion i mentioned how excited i was for this film how much i was looking forward to it and how pumped i was to watch it but as i sat on the couch and prepared myself for it i tried my best to go in with low expectations to clear my mind of all the great things i had heard about this movie and go in as blind as possible but it became clear pretty soon that I didn't need to. Gamera 3, Revenge of Iris, is, dare I say it, a masterpiece. And I don't just throw that term around lightly, at least not anymore. At first I didn't really know what to think about it, and that's why you didn't get a review last week. But after some careful thought, I was able to truly decide that I love this movie. This is definitely one of the best kaiju films I've ever seen. It rivals the original Godzilla for me. That being said, it's one of those movies I feel like that if you go in thinking you're going to love it, you definitely will. But if you go in thinking it's going to be the worst movie ever and you're going to hate it, that's how you're going to feel about it. I don't really know how to explain it other than that. This also isn't just a kaiju film. It is, more than any other monster movie I've ever seen, a human story. But now that we have the basics covered... I'd like to dig a little deeper into why I consider this film a masterpiece. So let's get the background information out of the way so we can get started. Gamera 3 Revenge of Iris is a 1999 kaiju film directed by Shisuke Kanako. The special effects were done by Shinji Higuchi, the man who would later go on to co-direct Shin Godzilla. Revenge of Iris is often considered to be the best of the Gamera Heisei trilogy, as well as one of the best kaiju films of all time. Now, here are my thoughts on Gamera 3, Revenge of Iris. Quick note, uh, just so you know, I won't be doing a cinematography segment for this video. I didn't feel like it stood out as well as in the Attack of Legion. Just know that there were no more sucky transitions which is one of the many pluses about this movie. Spoiler warnings as well for the entire video. Definitely go watch this movie if you haven't already. It's an incredible film, and I don't want to ruin it for you. Like I said earlier, this film is a human story, and thus the humans are really the main focus of the film. Don't get me wrong, there's still a monster plot, and it's still awesome. It's just not the focus of the film. In fact, this film has the least amount of monster stuff in the whole Heisei trilogy, which is, allows it to flesh out the masterful human plot more. The film follows a young girl who resents Gamera because she lost her parents in a previous kaiju attack to him. She bonds with a mysterious Gaios variant she names Iris and uses her to attempt to get revenge on Gamera. It's a very well done story that explores the feelings of loss and hatred. It's kind of slow in the beginning, but it really starts to pick up about 30 to 40 minutes in. The revenge story was really emotional and you could understand the feelings the characters were having. I also felt some of the more philosophical stuff, while there was very little of it, was really interesting. And the humans were the true driving force in this film, more so than the monsters, but I wasn't bored of them because of how incredible their story was. Speaking of the monsters, there are very little of them compared to the other films in the trilogy, as I've already mentioned. There were only a few fights, but what was there was still incredible. In fact, my favorite scene in the whole movie was one that involved the monsters. I also really liked how they were able to explain what happened at the end of Attack of Legion, and then also incorporate it into the plot. I felt like having the human plot connect to the monster plot through Iris was a really clever idea. There was a scene that I thought was bad and also kind of funny though, where this character performs CPR but instead of pressing down on the heart, or even the chest for that matter, they press down on the person's belly. Like seriously, who planned the scene? Did the director or the actors even know basic human anatomy? Uh, and now let's pro talk about probably the most controversial part of this movie, the ending. The ending is controversial because it's a cliffhanger, one that was never meant to be and never will be completed. It ends with a large pack of Gaios swarming to attack the city. Gamera, while injured severely, 
trudges on and prepares to fight until the end. And then the film ends. I really like this cliffhanger. It was epic and felt like it was a near-perfect ending to an already near-perfect trilogy. It shows us how Gamera is willing to fight on, even if he doesn't know what's going to happen in the end. Which makes it fitting that we don't know what's going to happen in the end either. At least that's how I interpret it. But anyways, those were my thoughts on the plot. Now let's talk about that favorite scene of mine that I mentioned earlier. My favorite scene in this film is, by a mile, Gamera's first appearance when he is fighting the Gaios in Shibuya. The special effects, music, cinematography, and acting in this scene in particular were all incredible. Gamera's entrance was epic, and I love seeing the Gaios getting blown to bits. But by far my favorite part of the scene is the destruction. Yeah, we've seen giant monsters barreling through cities, but we rarely get to see individual people getting killed. This scene does not hold back on showing us the carnage these monster attacks can cause. Take a moment, for example, when Gamera breathes fire on a street of running people, and we see dozens of bodies get lunged into the air from the fireball. Showing how deadly these kaiju attacks can be also helps to reinforce the message and really shows us why the girl hates Gamera. Because while we are being entertained by the cool monster fights in action, we forget that people are dying. Every building knocked over is a building's worth of people gone. Every street lit up in flames is a street's worth of people gone. And don't forget that these victims probably have in-universe families who are mourning their loss and want revenge on the monsters who killed them. Hmm, sounds familiar. I mean, yeah, it's all fiction. Yes, none of these people are actually dying, but it's still really frightening to watch once you think about it. That's why this is my favorite scene, because it reminds us that every kaiju attack can meet hundreds to thousands of people dead, which helps to reinforce the theme and message of the story. In fact, this scene isn't just my favorite in this film, but my favorite in the entire trilogy. So now that we've talked about that, let's move on to the characters. The characters in this are one of the main reasons that I consider this movie to be a masterpiece. They are well done, especially the girl who lost her parents, and like I said earlier, they are the driving force in the story, which is not how I felt about them in the first two films. Their dynamics and development were all amazing, the highlight of course being the girl who lost her parents, but even the returning characters from older movies were still fun to follow. Seagull's daughter is back. Uh, but she is no longer my favorite character. I don't really know what else to say except that the characters in this film are masterful. Definitely one of my overall favorite parts. Now, let's move on. The acting in this film is amazing. I mean, you'd expect it to be with how great the characters are. It's just incredible. Better than any acting I think I've seen in a kaiju film. One of the reasons the characters actually felt real, other than their emotions, was because of the acting. It's a big upgrade from the past two films, and the acting was still amazing in them, so that's saying a lot. Overall, an incredible part of this incredible film. Now for the dialogue and delivery. It's just as good as the acting. I don't think there's really much else to say about it. It's incredible. I've never seen anything like it in a kaiju movie, if I'm being honest. The only runner-up possibly being the original Godzilla. The dialogue felt really genuine and the delivery had emotion. I don't know how to explain it other than that. You just kind of got to watch the movie, which I hope you did. Anyways, it's just incredible. Another banger soundtrack from another banger Gamera film. I don't think it tops Guardian in the Universe. I don't really think any kaiju film really can on the musical front. But it still slaps. The title card goes hard. The monster themes, especially during my favorite scene, are a bop. It's just so great. It was suspenseful, epic, and emotional. You bet some of this will be on my playlist. Absolute unrivaled banger. Wow. I didn't think that they could improve upon the special effects in the last film because of just how amazing they already were. But they did. 
they took it from a 10 to 11. The special effects are extremely advanced and good looking, especially for 1999. The miniatures were near perfect, and the explosions were even better. The suits, too, were already a massive upgrade from the designs in the Attack of Legion. I don't think Iris's design tops the designs in that film, but it was still really good. I love the air battle sequence especially. It was a close runner-up to my favorite scene because of the special effects. Overall, the special effects in this film are absolutely amazing and definitely some of the best in any Heishi Kaiju film. But, on the other hand... The CGI sucks. I understand why it's used and why it's used so much, but it's still very bad. It's classic low-budget 1990s CGI, where the lighting doesn't match with the rest of the scene and all the surfaces are too smooth to look real. It's honestly sad that something like Jurassic Park was made six years before this. Then again, this film did run on a very low budget, so I can't really blame them. But it's still probably the worst part of this film. Alright, now that you've heard all my thoughts, it's time for the synopsis and the final rating. Overall, Gamera 3 Attack of Legion is an absolute masterpiece of a film, and one of the best kaiju films I've ever seen. It has incredible characters, acting, special effects and music, all accompanied by an amazing human plot. Definitely deserves the title of one of the best kaiju movies of all time. I give this film a 10 out of 10, which is a first for this channel, but it's 100% deserved. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys this week. So, until next time, thanks for watching.